When it comes to skills, the more you practice, the better you become. This concept can be applied to many activities such as playing an instrument, learning a dance routine, or driving a car. Skill memory is not easily conveyed verbally to others, can be acquired without conscious awareness, improves over time, and is long-lasting. Successful and unsuccessful performances of a skill shape future performances by adjusting the memories of past performances to implement the best plan of action into memory. Along with memories, the many areas of the brain that are involved in a skill performance are also adjusted. The practice of a skill leads to the adjustment of memories and brain circuits, which contributes to creating a gradual enhancement in skill performance. When thinking of how to best enhance skill memory, think of studying. Professors will always tell students to study a bit by bit over time and not to cram. In one study, the influence of length and frequency of training session on the rate of learning to type, researchers divided participants into groups that practiced for one or two hours once or twice a day. <coughs> the group that learned most efficiently was the group that studied for one hour once a day. Based on the current research and knowledge on skill memory, multiple factors contribute to progress in skill memory. Distributed learning is much more effective than mass learning, proving that space practice over a long period of time improves skill. In 1978, A.D. Badley and D.J. A. Longman researched on the influence of length and frequency of training session on the rate of learning to type. Similarly to other research on the topic of procedural memory, this focused on finding the most effective way to teach and learn a type of behavior. In this specific case, the training time period was manipulated by having post office workers trained to use a keyboard that controlled a letter sorting machine with different training schedules with two lengths and two frequencies. One or two hours and one or two sessions, hereafter referred to as one by one, one by two, two by one, two by two. The dependent variable was the performance level of the workers and the independent variable consisted of the various training periods including 1x1, one 1x2, by 2x1, one, one by two, two by and 2x2. Two two. Because this study specifically looked at the effects of mass versus space practice, this method worked well for it. The workers were simply trained for different amounts of time at different numbers of times, and the researchers tried to find whether mass practice, practicing more hours at one time for a shorter time frame, or space practice, practicing less hours at one time for a longer time frame, was more effective. After reading the methodologies for the study, we decided that this can be applied to many other physical skills such as stepping, a form of percussive dance. So now I'm trying to learn to step, I can walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it seems pretty cool. Like, what do you mean to step? Like, like, yeah, I'll show you. I'll be, I'll be ready. Okay, I'm yeah, stand, so just like this. Okay, this is this Just spacing it out over that month and 
just practicing a little bit each and every day helped you more than just cramping last minute. 